Hey y'all, it's April the 28th, 2015, and like I said, I was having uploading difficulties with YouTube, so this particular video on this particular subject, I've actually made a video probably two or three times already. So by this time, kind of tired of even talking about it. In fact, it's old news pretty much at this point. But the current event that I'm alluding to is the conviction, the murder conviction of one Aaron Hernandez. Alright, and I made a longer, more elaborate video about it. Uh, it appears, and he's been convicted of shooting and killing his girlfriend's sister's boyfriend. After they had all been seen in the club together by everybody. Um, or not they all, but you know, Aaron Hernandez and the guy who got murdered were very much seen together before the guy got murdered. And you know what? It seems like Aaron Hernandez might have murdered him. And some people seem to believe that he might, Aaron Hernandez might have shot uh one of his best buddies in the face prior to that, some months back. And that's also interesting. But you know what? I'm going to cut it short. The reason I bring this up, I know I bring up some stuff that a lot of people hate to hear. They don't want to hear it. And you know what? You got to turn off the video right now. You don't want to hear this. So it's another nail in the coffin of, I would, from what I would say is a, a uh, Christian NFL fan, pretty soon y'all are going to be obsolete. There ain't going to be no Christian NFL fans because they don't really add up. Say, what do you mean by that? All right, they don't love America. I know Hank Williams drinks a lot and we can't, he's not a, we shouldn't follow him for stuff, but they fired Hank Williams. Not only that, I mean, uh, they don't like you having self-defense. They think of your self-defense as offensive to them. They don't like it. They've proven that. Uh, they want to feel your genitals before you go up in the Super Bowl, and they want to feel your, maybe your children's genitals, too. I don't really care for that. They want you to go through all sort of rigorous security measures to get up into the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, let's get up into the Super Bowl. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. I.e. the guy who reached up and grabbed that microphone a couple of years back. Um, the, the, the list kind of just goes on and on. I mean, they, they go ahead and have a homosexual up in the NFL. And I'm not really against that. You can have as many homosexuals up in there as you want. Uh, cause I don't really watch it to begin with too much, but I don't hear nobody talking about the health concerns of a homosexual man and how there are plenty of them. Nobody even brings that up. It's passe. Now they got murdered. In fact, you know what? You can just assume the thing is the reason I brought up the Aaron Hernandez thing specifically is this. It's just like anything else with some tragic happens to an athlete or a celebrity or whatever, and a lot of people turn around and they ask themselves, or they ask on pub public television, they say, man, what, what was it that uh, made this man spiral out of control and lose it when he had everything going for him? He had a $40 million football contract. He had everything going for him. Everything. What made this man do something that was so out of the ordinary for him and such a isolated incident that it basically happened completely in a vacuum. What made him do this? I can't understand it. That's what a lot of people ask themselves and ask others on television. I've seen people do it on ESPN and CNN. Completely ignoring the fact that this behavior is completely intertwined into the culture of the NFL or any major superstar with millions and millions and millions of dollars for playing the child's game. 
playing a game that was designed to, literally designed to um, entertain and keep children busy. And you want to make believe like these cultures don't, uh, I mean like this, what he did has nothing to do with the fact that he's probably treated like a god everywhere he goes. He probably thinks he's untouchable. He thought he was untouchable. I'm saying, or the hip hop music, or whatever. I'm, just, I can't even listen to most of this hip hop music. It's crazy, and they pop pills, pop all sorts of pills. There's all sorts of drugs going on in the NFL, and everybody knows it. And I think there should be more drugs, but I think we should know exactly what drugs each player is taking. That would be nice to know. Anyways, I, like I said, I'm gonna just make that a short, um, a short video. Holler at me and discuss uh, all the other different nails that are being put in the coffin of the Christian uh, NFL football. And I like football, I like all sorts of sports. So don't get it twisted. The NFL, it's not, it's becoming, it's hating on Christians, y'all. Anyways, I'm gonna make another video. I gotta make a lot of videos now.